Why does evolution matter now? Evolution matters now because it happens every day in our lives. Um, a perfect example for looking at this is in sicknesses, which are caused by microbes. Um, microbes are small particles that are able to cause disease in human beings. They include things such as bacteria, viruses, mycobacteria, fungi. Uh, and their evolutionary world in which they try to survive is inside the human being. Viruses, bacteria, and other microbes may be all but invisible to us, but that doesn't mean we don't play a huge role in their evolution. The way we use antibiotics, for instance, has a lot to do with which ones survive, the helpful ones or the harmful ones. Tuberculosis, the leading infectious killer of adults in the world today, is caused by bacteria and it has become one of the most lethal, especially in Russia, where evolution on a cellular level has resulted in some tuberculosis bacteria that are resistant to drugs, threatening the survival of hundreds of thousands. This is ground zero of a global tuberculosis epidemic. Russia's crowded prisons provide a perfect breeding ground for the transmission of tuberculosis. <laughs> tuberculosis is spread through the air and is therefore a very threatening disease in that someone could cough and a few hours later someone walking into that room could inhale the air and become sick with tuberculosis. People who do become sick with tuberculosis develop a cough and fever and begin losing a lot of weight. If you look at the x-ray of the healthy lung, what you see is a lot of dark uh, areas within the lung. That's because the lung is primarily composed of air and that indicates that there's a healthy lung. When you look at the tuberculosis lung, you can see that there are many white areas What's in there is a lot of phlegm and blood and pus. Uh, the person is constantly coughing this up when they cough, and uh, it's a sign that the person is quite ill. Like Dr. Jennifer Furin, microbiologist Alex Goldfarb is one of the many health professionals who travels from the United States to Russia to combat multi-drug resistant TB. Every one of you has been diagnosed with multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. In other words, the type of tuberculosis that you have does not respond to regular medications. When people are sick with tuberculosis, we often need to give them more than one medication in order to kill all of the bacteria that are living with inside that person. Treatment begins with one medication. The antibiotic kills many of the bacteria. A second dose of the antibiotic kills off even more bacteria, but still some remain alive, resistant to the antibiotic. If the patient does not take all the prescribed antibiotics, these resistant bacteria multiply and pass their resistance to their descendants, and the patient remains sick. In this way, a strain of bacteria evolves to become fully resistant to an antibiotic. And the same cycle can continue until the person is resistant to all the medications that we use to treat tuberculosis. It's a classic example of natural selection. Genetic variation within bacteria strains allows some bacteria to survive even when hit with antibiotics. These surviving bacteria are selected and continue to evolve, that is, survive and reproduce over time, unless treatment is thorough. A single bacterium can reproduce a million times in a single human lifespan. It would be impossible for me to do my work with the sufferers of TB without understanding how evolution works, because evolution is key in how we treat and understand the disease. <coughs> 
So why should we be concerned about how evolution happens in a prison halfway around the world? Globalization is not just, you know, financial markets or the information space which became global. The bacterial uh, ecology has also been globalized. We recently heard about a gentleman in, in Russia who was very sick with multi-drug resistant tuberculosis and treatment was not available for him in Russia at the time. He boarded an airplane and flew from Moscow to New York City, went straight to a hospital there to get treatment for his multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. But in the setting of being on the airplane, he had coughed, the airs recirculated, and 34 people were infected with tuberculosis on that one airplane flight. In the United States, about 10 to 15 million Americans are infected with TB bacteria, and at least 1 million are expected to develop the disease. Evolution matters now because what happens to bacteria in a Russian prison can happen closer to home as we use antibiotics in our doctor's offices, clinics, and hospitals. Our very survival depends on our understanding of evolution.